Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Shape Generator update. Currently our generated shape is made up of lots of different collections of objects. We could select one of these objects, tab into edit mode and use it as any other regular object, but whilst Blender still thinks of it as part of the Shape Generator, we could lose our changes by accidentally altering a parameter on the side panel. It can also be a bit cumbersome to edit or use the shape when it is a collection of separate objects. This is where the Bake Shape operation comes in, which is available under the Operations section in the Shape Generator panel. Select one of the shape's objects and press Bake Shape. This will collapse all the objects into one overall object, applying any modifiers that were being used and remove the shape generator parameters. If we press tab to enter edit mode for the object, we'll see that the individual parts are still intact. They are just part of one main object. From here, you could add a remesh modifier to this object. Add this modifier, reduce the voxel size parameter a little and then apply it, which by default will convert the object into quad faces ready for sculpting. You could even apply other tools to this result, such as my plating generator add-on, as a cheeky little promotion. And that's it for the Shape Generator update. Do get in touch with me via the links below if you have an idea for a Shape Generator feature or have produced a design you're particularly proud of as a result of the work here. In the meantime, I continue to update this and my other add-ons, so thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.